This is a county councillor. This is a county councillor. Even this is a county councillor. But what exactly do they do? Counties in England are structured in different ways. In Surrey we have a two-tier system with the county council and 11 district and borough councils. Your district or borough has its own councillors and is responsible for things like rubbish collection, local parks and most planning applications. District and, <sighs> district and boroughs are broken up further into parishes with their own set of councillors. Parish councils are responsible for things like community buildings, allotments and play areas. So, what about us county councillors? Well, the county council split into a number of smaller sections called divisions. Surrey has 81 divisions, with a county councillor representing the residents of each one. Residents vote for a councillor for their division every four years. County councillors are sometimes called members, as in a member of the council, just like a member of parliament. Some county councillors are also district and borough councillors. These councillors are often called twin hatters. Me? No, I said twin hatters, not mad hatters. Oh. So what does a county councillor do? Well, uh, hang on, before you get to that, shouldn't you explain what the county council does? Ah yes, good idea. A county council is responsible for a wide range of services like adult social care, which is all about supporting people to live as independently as possible, even if they're frail, disabled or vulnerable, and giving people a brighter future through lifelong education and additional care and support for children and families who need it. In fact, these two areas account for over 60% of the council's budget. What remains needs to pay for improving roads and public transport across the county. The fire service. Managing the countryside sites and steps to tackle climate change. Running the community recycling centres. The library service. Can you talk up a bit, please? And numerous other back office services to help the council function effectively. All these services are carried out by officers or contractors that are politically neutral. Chief amongst these is the chief executive, whose chief responsibility is to oversee all the diverse services and make sure the political decisions are being chiefly implemented. How's that, chief? Hmm. So that's what a county council does. Well, thank you for that. Now you can explain what us councillors do. All right, don't overplay your part. County councillors either belong to a political party, a resident association, or as an independent candidate. What they have in common is that they are all elected by their local communities. The political group which has the largest number of councillors forms the administration, and that group's leader becomes leader of the council. The leader is responsible for appointing a cabinet and setting the priorities for the council. There are nine cabinet members who are responsible for their own portfolio of services, with deputies assigned to support them too. The cabinet members, along with the leader, meet monthly to discuss and agree key spending and policy decisions. While these decisions are made by cabinet, how do other councillors influence what happens in Surrey? Some councillors from across the political spectrum are part of select committees, which meet to thoroughly explore and scrutinise decisions before they're taken to cabinet. Some councillors are members of committees which make decisions on things like specific planning issues and public rights of way. Residents can contribute to all these different meetings too, giving them the opportunity to share their views and ideas directly with the councillors. It's easy to get involved in Surrey. All the information's on our website. Six times a year, all 81 county councillors in Surrey get together for a full council meeting. During these meetings, councillors have the opportunity to ask questions of the leader and cabinet and can put forward motions asking the council to take action on issues that are important to them, which are then voted on by the councillors. The full council meeting is run by the chair of the council who's voted for by all county councillors every two years and is a councillor themselves. During their time as chair, they have their own set of responsibilities. This includes representing the county council at ceremonial events and encouraging the community to get involved in all council activities. They even get to wear some fancy chains to make them look even more important. So there you have it. County councillors spend their time in meetings, helping to make decisions that affect the residents of the county. Hang on, we do more than that. Do you? Like what? Those might be our official duties, but we support our residents in lots of different ways. For a start, we all have an allocation of money we can spend to help with local community projects. We work with residents to see what can be improved in their communities. We attend other public meetings. We keep our residents updated on what's happening across the council on social media 
and many of us hold regular surgeries. We help residents deal with issues they have accessing council services. And most importantly, we spend time listening to what our residents say so they can inform any of the decisions made. Okay, so I think we've covered what a county councillor is, but how do you become one? Well, anyone can put themselves forward. You just need to get in touch with a political party or a residence association that your views align with. Or you can put yourself forward as an independent candidate. Did I say that they don't get paid for any of this? While councillors don't receive a salary, they do receive an allowance to support them in carrying out their duties with extras for being part of committees or cabinet. Councillors who are parents or carers can also get support for caring expenses. You can search on how to become a councillor on the Surrey County Council website for more information. So there you have it, all you need to know about county councillors. Make sure you vote for yours when you get the chance.